they lie about everything, man. And we and we follow these narratives and we stick to these narratives, man. And we propagate these narratives. And then we go against any black person that try to come out and say, hey man, that don't apply to me and my ancestors. We go, we attack them like some type of like some type of drones that that are that are that are tweak to to hone in on certain frequencies, right? Once a black person wakes up, becomes conscious, he come other black people to attack him. But y'all do that out of self-love, y'all claim. Y'all do that because y'all love black people, y'all claim. But y'all don't even let a black man be his own person. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Over the last week, I've been trying to get a video out that I just, I can't get it out. Because I'm, I'm stuck trying to watch how I say it because black folks get triggered so easily, right? We are so tied and attached to certain narratives that anybody who tries to explain to us that we shouldn't be tied to those narratives, y'all get mad at them. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to do something differently. I'm going to just take me out of the equation, right? In other words, I'm going to speak only for Kush. Personally, I don't want to be a part of no group that doesn't represent me. As of now, the so-called leaders of black America do not represent me. Whether they conservative, whether they liberal, whether they independent, they don't represent me. A uh, red pill type or some kind of feminist minded type, they don't represent me. Whether they Hebrews, Muslims or whatever, they don't represent me. As a human being, I have a right to self-determination. I am under no obligation to identify by way of somebody else's control narratives of me. We have tens of millions of so-called black Americans that know for a fact that we were here in the Americas when Europeans arrived, but we cannot get that message out to the mainstream for nothing. Because not only is that message pushed back against by white society, it's pushed back against by black leadership. It's pushed back on by blacks with college degrees, with doctors in front of their name, with professor in front of their name. They are pushing back on the, on, on the fact that we were here when white folks came. And it's not fair to us to be subjected to somebody else's belief that all black people come from Africa. And then the way you explain us being in the Americas is that we had to have come here as slaves by white folks, right? That, that's not fair to us for us to be subjected to that belief. When we know that's not true for us. When we know for a fact that our ancestors were already here. Maybe you know about your ancestors. I'm not trying to argue for you. Maybe your ancestors did come over here from Africa. I don't know. I just know my ancestors didn't. I just know none of my friends' ancestors came from Africa. This is what I know for a fact. So... I'm not, I can't speak for you, but what I can say is not fair to me that I am subjected to somebody else's narrative, that I have no voice that, that describes who I am myself, that I have no right as a human being to tell you who I am, that somebody else has a right to tell me who I am. That's not cool, bro. And the sad thing about it, again, we are fighting against our own with these narratives. Why is it so hard for us to accept that we were already here? Why is it so, why is that so much of a problem to black people, for other black people to say, well, you know, I mean, you know, my ancestors were already here in the Americas. Why is that such a problem? When we already know that the scientists down there in, in, in South America say that they can prove that there were blacks in the Americas for at least 50 to 100,000 years. They say they can prove that because they found bodies. This is what the scientists down in, in, in South America said, but we don't talk about that. We know that the Mayan were actually black. You got these TV shows of the Mayan, the Mayan TV show, these Mexican looking people on motorbikes and stuff. None of them look like a damn Mayan. Mayans were black people with dreadlocks. I mean, I've been to the exhibit myself. I've been to the Parole Museum. I seen the exhibit, the Mayan exhibit with my own eyes. They, those were black people. 
but yet we still can't get that out in the mainstream. I remember seeing a bunch of what you would call, I guess, independent uh, archaeologists, right? The, the kind of archaeologists that are not funded by the mainstream. They do a lot of their own research and it's hard on them because they can't get approval to go in a lot of places because they report what they actually see. And I remember watching one of these videos and a man was showing sites from all around the world, pyramidal sites from all around the world. I mean, we had pyramids all over the globe. A lot of people don't know that. You know about Egypt, you know about the South and the, the Americas, but there are pyramids all over the globe. And he was showing the images that they found inside the pyramids. And the man actually paused in front of a room for the white folks. He paused and said, the sad thing is that modern archaeology will tell you that these people are not black. And everybody in the room, which was all white folks, it was hundreds of them, big old crowd of white folks, they all bust out laughing. What? Because they're looking at the images on the wall and you're telling them those are not black people. See, that's, that's, that's absurdity, man. It's, it's crazy. But we do the same thing. We have all this proof of who we are as black people that we ignore just so that we can stay in line with white folks. And it's not fair to me that I have to be subjected to that because you want to believe that. I am tired of arguing with y'all about, you know, who we are. I'm tired of arguing with y'all, man. I'm, I'm tired of it. And you know, we can't make no progress because what's the point? That's why I did that video, Go Back to Africa. If you believe that you are from Africa, you should return to Africa. Uh -oh. Leave the blacks alone that, that, that understand that this is our homeland so that we can come together and claim our indigenous status so we can start taking control over America. Because that is the only way we're gonna gain control over America is by claiming indigenous rights. Otherwise, we have no stake, we have no claim here. If you're claiming to be a forced immigrant, you have no claim here. Understand what y'all are doing. They are working against us, but it's not fair to the indigenous brothers and sisters in America for us to be subjected to y'all. Y'all should not be able to control our narrative. And as black people who claim to be so pro-black, you should have enough respect for your brothers and sisters to say, we're not going to try to control your narrative. Your language should have been changed to saying those of us that come from Africa. And you should have been told the mainstream that we are not going to speak for the blacks that were here in the Americas already. But you won't do it. Because that's not a mainstream narrative. So brothers like me have to be subjected to all kinds of narratives that don't belong to me. And I'm tired of arguing with y'all about the simplest of things. How can we actually make progress, man, when we can't even understand simple respect? How can y'all want to talk about this black unity stuff? How can we have black unity when y'all don't even respect the, 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 the actual lineage of other black Americans? I know you have this foundational black American thing and the Eidos thing. I don't have, I honestly... I don't know what these things mean. Well, the Eidos is obvious, American descendants of slaves. I guess that's obvious. I don't know what foundational black American mean. I have yet to get a, a, a solid definition. Are you talking about indigenous Americans? Or are you just talking about who you think of as slave Americans that built America, right? I, I don't know what you're talking about. But the problem is I'm not a foundational black American. I am an indigenous American. That's what I am. I am a descendant of the original people of the planet. I'm actually indigenous no matter where I'm at. Anywhere I'm standing, I'm indigenous to that land because I'm original. And instead of the ones controlling the narrative, having enough respect, since we supposed to be all brothers and sisters, having enough respect to say, hey man, we're not gonna try to control y'all story anymore. We're gonna tell the mainstream that we're gonna split this thing, that we're gonna start dealing with black indigenous Americans and black um, African Americans, right? That we're gonna get two categories and we're gonna push for them to put this on a census. We're gonna push for them to put this on applications that when they ask you your race and ethnicity, that they gotta have a check mark for indigenous black American. The black people could push for that, but they're never going to do it. So it's not fair to people like me that we are subjected to somebody else's narrative. Listen, if you want to tell me what I am that goes against what I know, you got to prove that. 
I am not, I am under no obligation to believe you about me when I know what my grandparents told me. I know what my moms told me. I know who I am and where I come from. Who, who are y'all for me to believe? So I'm supposed to believe y'all over my damn family? Nah, man. My family said we were already here. That we did not come here from Africa as no slaves. So guess what? We were already here. We did not come from Africa as no slaves. If that's your story, that's your story. But why you got to force that story on me? And then why you got to make me and people like me the bad people because we don't want to accept that lie in regards to us. It might be true for you, but we don't want to accept that lie in regards to us. Why is this such a problem? And what kind of person wants to be a slave? Why don't y'all make them people prove that stuff? Because see, y'all don't know anything about you as a human being. But the brothers like me that understand who we are as human beings, that we are descendants of the original people, we understand that we live everywhere before anyone else. So we are not limited to believing that we come from Africa just because we black. The Europeans were all black at one time. The people all through Asia were all black. The original Asians were black. They had an Asian doctor, what, 10 years ago? He did a deep dive in the DNA structure of Asians. I think he was in China, right? He, was, he set out, and this is, the real, this is a real story, you can look it up. He set out to prove that Asians are a unique, independent race of people that develop independent of anybody else. And when he went into that laboratory, after he finished six months later, he came out, and, I mean, I got to give him credit for admitting it, but he came out and said, no, come to find out, we are descendants of Africans. That's what he said. We are direct descendants of black people also. All these people come from us, man. So if y'all want to believe y'all come from somewhere, if y'all want to believe some narrative about yourself, that's fine. I don't want to be a part of no group where I don't have a right to be my own person. I don't want to be a part of no group where somebody else controls my narrative. Somebody else could come up tomorrow with another thing and say, no, we don't call ourselves African Zulu Americans tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Now I gotta call myself African Zulu American? Somebody gonna, you know, they come out with these crazy DNA things, like a DNA test can actually tell you where you from. I mean, it's just, it's so silly that it's disrespectful to the intelligent mind, bro. I mean, how stupid can you be to believe that a DNA swab can tell you where you from? Come on, man, I, look, look, I don't wanna deal with this stuff, man. But I don't want to be a part of no group where I don't have a right to be my own person. And as a human being, I have a right to represent me. And if black people were, were the way we should be, we should want everybody to have a right to self-determination. That's what our black leaders should be pushing for. Instead of constantly coming up with new slave holidays like Juneteenth, they wrote, they wrote the roots, which was a lie. Juneteenth is a lie. 1619 is a lie. Last slave ship is a lie. All of this stuff, African Americans is a lie. All of this stuff that we've been, that we've had forced upon us by black people needs to stop. If you want to believe that stuff applies to you, that's your right. But you have no right to tell me that something is wrong with me, that I'm anti-black. I don't like black people. I don't like being black. I'm trying to be something else because I'm telling you that story doesn't apply to me. I do not want to be represented anymore by people that are not like me. You know, Kendrick Lamar talking about they're not like us, but he go do a Juneteenth celebration. You're not like us either, bro. What you talking about? See, it takes more than some song for, for, you, for you to be like us. You're not like us either. You're still doing what they say do. You're still following whatever popular narrative they push onto us. You're not like us. So, man, look, I I'm just trying to make this clear. Me, personally, I don't belong to a group. I am a human being. I'm an individual. And I definitely don't need to belong to a group where I don't have a right to self-determination, where I don't have a right to be my own man because y'all want me to stay locked in to some racial ideology. I can't do that, man, because y'all don't move the way I move. 
Y'all don't want what I want. I want out of this system because I know that I'm indigenous black man. Y'all won't end this system because y'all believe that y'all are slaves. Y'all believe that y'all believe that y'all are the property of white folks. So y'all want to stay close to your masters. I'm trying to break away from this system. We don't move the same. Because if I was you and I believed that I came from Africa, I'd be back in Africa right now. Real talk. Real talk. Y'all should all just pack up and leave. Because this infighting makes no sense. Control, staying here just to be our rulers, because all y'all doing is keeping us under control for white folks. Because again, what they are really afraid of is us waking up and realizing that this is our homeland and we start demanding our indigenous rights. Then they got a problem. They got a problem. Because claiming to be forced immigrants, we have no claim to the land. Claiming your, your, your proper status as indigenous that puts you in a different legal structure outside and above their system this is why the moors always talk about how we sovereign and everything but you can't be sovereign while you are part of their system what makes you sovereign is your legal status here in the americas it puts you outside of their legal structure and they're trying their best to make sure that we never wake up to that reality and you know who's keeping us under check Black people, black people doing all the work for them in the name of being pro-black. Ain't that crazy? This is y'all idea of pro-blackness to keep a slave narrative on black people and never let black people self-determine who they are. Never let black people do their own independent research, find out who they are. Because all you Negroes came through college and y'all think that all black people come from Africa. I mean, it's amazing the mind, mm, the mind screw they did to y'all and put y'all in positions to be our so-called leaders. But well, y'all don't represent me, man. I'ma stop, man. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out here. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Blackout. Smile.